logo Dessa. So I wanted to jump here and uh, talk about um, the activity of connecting to our inner voice and to our inner quiet and to our inner guidance, especially because there are so many turbulent and painful things happening in the world. Uh, if you follow what's going on in the world, you see there is a very tight and uh, difficult fight between the people who want dignity for every person and equality and light and collaboration and fairness uh, between the people trying to keep the old agenda of control um, and uh, there's a lot to say about that but what i want to say is, especially now when some of us feeling like that cannot be happening it cannot be happening again in many countries so um in many countries it's a really long list especially this week so many countries are standing on the top where the people fight for the basic basic uh, rights and between uh, some old structures trying to keep a lid on it well if we look at the cycles of the world we know they cannot keep a lid on it for long but in that process of changing there are some victims and some uh, suffering that is difficult to handle so I want to share with you what I think is really important to do if you feel uh, that you want to change or to support the right movement so the most important thing as I said to somebody this week the most important it is to realize that if you are individually you sit with fear and uh, not believe in change and powerless and hopeless you are contributing for for the collective energy to be not going to the right direction and i know it's hard i know it's hard to see the vision of where we're we going but it is very important to realize that you alone with your consciousness it's already very powerful if you can manage your own consciousness your own thoughts the own language that you're using um, and bring more light into it, more hope, more inspiration to yourself. And if you can, to your children or to the people around you, uh, you're already contributing. Um, so instead of looking at negative things, uh, which are happening, we are aware about that. We don't need to read 10 times per day about the corruption that's going on or cover-ups that's going on of uh, ugly and disgusting forces we don't need we know that the important things is to be able to realize that you already have a lot of power with what you're focusing on so your inner peace your ability to stay in faith and in connection to us to me to other people like us is the best thing you can do for your own happiness and the best you can do for for all of us so i would like to take the minute we'll just do it for one minute one two minutes where we are uh, allowing ourselves to connect to our own inner world so we can bring ourselves into a state of mind that is healthy and vibrating in a higher and better way or we'll even say deeper way in connection with earth um, and grounding and connectedness to life instead of running after our minds with all our worries and fears and I'm talking to you because I know the beauty of your heart is uh, is aching and there is a lot of us that feel the same so what I'm saying is like let's do it together let's connect to our own peace and together enlarge this circle of, of, of loving and of caring and of believing, right? Okay, so I thought today I, I just jump with you to do a short healing uh, meditation just for us uh, to be ready for the weekend ahead. There are some things that's going to happen. You probably feel it. There are some big things are going to happen and we need somebody needs to hold the ground and i say let's be that people that hold the ground to 
anchor that love and caring and dignity and honesty and creativity and innovation has a place. I mean, I'm not going to talk here about the power of our body, of our mind, of our heart, of our voice. That's do other time. Now I would like to have a short healing. Yes, let's do that. So I'll do what I do for myself. Let's just, if you want to join, I would really love that. So we take one big breath. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. Let's just clear all of the stuff, open our legs and feel comfortable in our body. Feel our body where it is. Take another breath. Let's be just conscious about our body taking this breath and our body receiving, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. One last breath we do together. Hold it and then release. And then let me see what is requested of us. So for today, for the energy of today, for the way the world is today, for the way you are today, for everyone who is going to listen or see this, what is it that we need to know? So I will say concentrate on your face at the moment. Just feel your physicality. Feel the nose where you breathe from, the tongue that you can taste or speak or sing as I speak right now what you hear and just this awareness from your face expanded into the back of your head and your neck and allow this to rest go to the front of your body And if you can put your hand on your heart, it's very simple things. They are very simple things to help us connect to the reality and not to the illusion and the fear and the monkey mind and the ego. So just feel the warmth of your hand on your heart. And take another breath and connect this heart into your pelvis okay see that we need to anchor we need to anchor and there's a lot of power to anchor just what what's coming from life itself and from the power of the earth there is much more power in it than we can imagine that's what she's telling us use me let me help you find your correct tempo and let me correct your um, poisoning. Literally, some of the poisoning that we are receiving through the energies, collective energies and the fear and sometimes the horror and the suffering. Let's just do that now from this hand on your heart. Allow your breath and your higher self to come in through your body. It's a very simple mindfulness connection between your heart and your pelvis you can put your hands on your center and then from that place allow yourself to be connecting sitting on a pillar of light that is going to the earth this is what are we asked to do today and here are the bells telling us just feel this for a second move if you need to and connect to your legs and to your feet and allow your lower part of your body connect to the earth and now as I say that I am hearing that many of us have this fear from connecting to earth because in our collective memory there is a belief and there is an experience that this place this earth this planet is not safe for us for the one who wants to bring light and kindness and, and innovation and growth but this is an old program it's not true anymore it's changing, especially now, as we are taking this power back. 
So you just do yourself and I do myself and together we are a bit stronger. So just let yourself sit, stand on this pillar that is connecting your physical body and your energetic body, emotional body, mental body into the core of the earth, which is our mother. Most of our power to manifest comes from this energy. It's a bit slower. It's a magnet power. Just allow yourself to reduce the worry and the stress to go through your body to the earth. You can even picture yourself like, like a bottle of earth and water. And when it's shaking all about, it's very muddy. But as we are standing still, we are asking, visualizing, commanding with the power of our consciousness to let that sink and let the earth go to the earth and let the water become clear. And just watch how you are allowing this to happen. And you're doing that because you want to get clear of stress and because you deserve inner peace and because you know that being on stressful hormones are shutting down your creative power because you, on a stress we are on a survival activity in the brain and we want to do that to take it down it's very simple there's no big science here you can calm your nerve system by visualizing by breathing by joining me and other people in this connection and just bring your self to become clear allow all of the toxins of everything what we heard this week all of the things that we saw all of the worry all of the propaganda all of the programming let that all go down through your body and through your feet to under your feet where you're going to find the earth star and earth is sucking it into her she's a magnet she's taking stuff and making amazing resources crystals grass fantastic things that's the power of the earth to transmute and the only thing you're doing is like if you're still watching this you are sitting you're breathing you are volunteering yourself to be an instrument of cleansing the toxicity that we have in our society at the moment. That's all you need to do. Your intention, your command by saying, I do this, with your compassionate heart, you go, I would like dignity for every person on this planet. I would like to see collaboration and freedom for every person. All humans have the right to live with respect, with no fear, with no intimidation. Every person, every animal, every planet, plant, have the right to be as they are. And so are you. And allow yourself to come into a state of reception where a few downloads from a divine source of unconditional love is now giving you knowledge of how to take your next step, giving you inspiration of how to see things in the best way, giving you love to know that you're worthy 
just like see it as drops of gold if you want these sources of inspiration. And as a collective and as an individual, we're asking to have more permission for expanding light and kindness. We're asking for receive ourselves more health, more healing, more creativity, more innovation, more love, more collaboration, more inspiration, more friendships, more courage, more dignity. And just as we sit here, feeling our center, getting clear, this process of removing toxins and inviting inspiration. This is what we need to do today. And I hope that you can benefit from that for yourself, to find yourself in a peace inside the chaos of our world. Yeah, not very nice. My dog and my cat have an argument. But they also love each other. And they will find their balance, as we will too. So let's have a last breath. Thank you for joining me on this very short breathing. And I wish you an amazing weekend. I wish you to think inspiring thoughts, create beautiful things, enjoy your loved ones, have hope. And if you can, find million things per day to be grateful for. For your safety, for your health, for your home, for your family, and even just for the fact that you can breathe. And maybe just for the fact that you can take a hot shower. And just for the fact that you can have a cup of coffee when you feel like it. All the simple things. And I'm wishing you a great, great time. Thank you for joining me.